Like, I don't really, I drew it kind of big, so um, here's a diagram. So this is a square, and these are all supposed to be the same size, but hey guys, pay attention, you're not like, what are you doing? That's what I'm supposed to do here. My job. Um, it is, this triangle is drawn pretty badly, as you can see. This does not look like it's the same as this, but it is, okay? This is a square. I know it looks like a rectangle, but it's supposed to be a square. Um, the reason why I put this question here is because, um, well, how did you guys, those of you who did it, how many, how did you do it? Which, what, do you, what did you find there? What did you find there? You just found the areas of the two little ones and then just added it to the area to make it square. Yeah, that's, that's how, like, um, did all of you hear that? Like, finding the area of the square plus the area of two little things? Is that how you did it? Is that how y'all did it? I did it that way. Um, well, it is correct. It's not wrong. And it's not really that slow of a method either. But I just put this here because um, I thought there was a better method to do it, a faster method to do it. What I did here was um, I took this one out and moved it over here. And actually, no, I'm going to redraw this diagram because this is a really bad diagram. This is a better diagram, okay? So we had um, the square. We had the square, and we had like the, this thing shaded in, right? And we also had this shaded in, and we also had this shaded in. But the way that it's cut up here is not um, it's not convenient to find like this this area right here. It's, like you ever find this the entire thing minus the square divided by four? It's more like it's more work, and the more work you do, uh, the more mistakes you make. The higher the chance of making a mistake. So what I did here was um, I took this part out and I moved it over here, and that makes it a lot easier to manage. Do you see why that that's easier to it's easier to manage this to find the area of this sort of shape? You guys see what this shape, this poorly drawn diagram, but it's better than this diagram. But do you see why this one's like? It's easier to find the area of like when it, when you look at it like this. What? Because I heard you someone say has five minutes. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, um, what is it? Oh my god. Hey, I hear some of you doing like a Pythagorean like theorem. I don't know. I don't know about like this is how this is the the best way to do the question. Okay, you look at it as a semicircle and half a square. That's that's how that's what I, in my opinion is the best way to do this question because like um it's the least work um. You could do like two quarter circle, but hey, hey, um, so the radius of the circle, so it's, you're finding half the area of a circle and half the area of a square. So the area of this, the so this, this is four, and this is also four, and this is four root two. Okay, so the area of the circle is pi r squared. And pi r squared over two. That's the so this is the area of the semicircle. Hey, what are you discussing? What's what's like the what's the what's the what's happening over here? What are you arguing about? What what are you disagreeing? What 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 are your um? Find it. Find it. So um, so the total is sixteen. Pi. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why don't you come to the board and do it? <laughs> yes, the area of this entire thing is 16 pi, right? But you only have half of it. Because the way I'm doing it, you have half the circle. So four, this is the area of the semicircle, right? Pi times 4 squared divided by 2. So it's just 8 pi. 8 pi, and then you plus the area of the square, the, the half the area of the square. Um, so that's... 4 squared plus 4 squared is equal to the, the sine length of the square squared. So, which is just the sine of the square? 
Do you guys, do you guys find the silent sign of the square? There's four or two if you guys haven't found it yet. The sign length of the square. If you guys do four squared plus four squared is equal to three squared. So it's still 16 plus 16 plus 16. You're just going to see. Hey, did you guys find the side length of the square? The square root 32, right? Yeah. Sure. And then that square root 32 squared, the square that is equal to 32. Right? Right? But you only have half of the square. So 32 over 2 is 16. So 8 pi plus 16 is. Which is uh, E. Did you guys get E? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Did you get E? Did you get E? No, I got E. I got E. It's in head right here. I can't change it. It's in head. I got E. I got E. It's in head. I got E. It's in head. I got E. It's in head. I got E. No, I got E. You got it wrong. You see why you got it wrong. You see why this is. Because it was another question that I did. Alright. So the point of this one was just like coming up with like a fast method. Like, for example, if the question is like, what are all the ways you can arrange like a hundred objects? Um, like you could find out all, you could just count all the individual ways, but like that's a really slow method. Um, like on a math contest, like you're not going to be asked something like that, but it's just an example. You use factorial to find the ways to arrange something, not like you wouldn't count the, each individual one. All right. So the point of that one was to, to for you to think of like the best way to do a question, not necessarily like, just any way that works, all right? Hey, question two now. Question, the second question, which is question 22, but it's like the, the one that's below the one with the circle. All right, um, I guess, uh, I guess I can give you guys some time to 